Hey there, this video will instruct you how to make a chrysanthemum flower using petals one and two from the bundle. So you're gonna cut all your petals according to the sizes noted on the instruction document and stack them by size as I have laid out here. Then we're gonna roll all the petals up. So this is petal one design and then petal two is a much skinnier petal. So they're stacked by size. You take your dowel rod, I just make sure I have the right size myself. So you don't want, as you saw with this, if I use, and I can probably use it on this layer, is if it's too wide of a petal, you won't get enough curl. Now we're, we're okay here. So you want a variety pack of dowel rods, and if you do need any, I have some in my Etsy shop. And you're just placing the dowel rod down in the middle of the petal, thumb on top, index finger underneath, so it's holding it in place. And then I'm just pinching around it to give it a curl. So all the petals will be curled up. So this flower has a lot of layers, as you can see. So it's a super full flower. And then as you make your way down to the smaller petals, you're going to change your size dowel rod to be skinnier because you want to see the curl of the petal. And as you add them in and glue them, it will flatten the curl out a little bit. So you just go all the way around each petal. So you do that for all the petals one and then two. So as they get super small, if you have a toothpick, now that's even too wide. So what I tend to use is a piece of floral stem wire and I just kind of pinch it around it just to give it a little bit of shape. And I'm doing three petals at once. And they are skinny, so just be super careful. Just enough to have a little bit of a, a curl, as you can see. So whatever you have, I always try and keep things, and you want it to be smooth. Try and pinch it as best you can. Okay, so you would do that for the next um, size. So I'm going to continue to roll my petals and we'll be back as soon as that's done. have been styled. We're just going to move everything to the side here a little. And we're going to keep them in order by size so we don't get confused. <laughs> we're going to take our flower shaping mat and we need our metal ball stylus tool. We're going to take the two largest. I'm going to leave the bottom one flat. The next one, we're going to take our metal ball stylus and just roll around the edge where the petals meet the base. Flip it over and add a little bit of hot glue. Okay. So I look for a petal and I place it in between the V. So look for a V and come straight down from the top. And try and get it right there in the center. And then you can roll the center with your metal ball stylus. Just keep in mind 
we're adding hot glue for each layer right on top of all in the same area generally so your petals may shift from the heat of each layer so just be careful take your next two petals roll the center add some hot glue I like to rotate my flower we're gonna look for a V and we're gonna look for a petal and come straight down from the top and place it in the center now this layer is a quarter of an inch smaller so whether you're making the two inch or three inch flower two and a quarter maybe three and a half it's all the same rotate it come straight down so we're just gluing all the petals of layer or, or petal one which is the widest petal and then rotate again and try and stand directly over top to make sure you're getting them right in the center it's probably the hardest part if you're concerned you in your design space you can add a circle slice in a circle and you can one second I'll explain come straight down from the top is make a tool so with a piece of cardboard and a um, piece of floral wire glue it in now I cut off a piece of my Dollar Tree placemat and then if you had you would start with all the holes would be in the center and you would just thread them on and that'll keep it all lined up. So we're starting with the widest flat, um, petals first and again keep rotating it. Come straight down. Take your next two petals, roll the center. Add some hot glue. We're gonna come straight in and we're trying to keep those petals in between the previous layers petals. And that's why we keep rotating it. And always cup up the petals okay rotate we're taking our next two and we're gluing oops, all of petal one so our last two six petals are petal two and we're gonna stop with those before we get to those So our center is getting full, but that's what we want. Again, keep rotating that flower. I still have four petals to add and then the six for the center. We are just keep adding our glue and alternating placement. And then I like to use the metal ball stylus to make sure it adheres, but be careful it doesn't shift again because we're gluing the same area each layer. So this center has a lot of glue right there. Roll 
the centers. Again, we're kind of just keeping an eye on two of the petals and trying to get one of them in between. So by coming straight down from the top. Making sure I'm not getting shifted my center over a little bit. Believe me, I do it too, so. I can see this one's shifted over a little. And just keep rotating that. So now we're going to take our last six petals, which is now petal two. So it's a much skinnier petal. So as it's getting towards the center. And we're going to roll the center. So we'll start with the three smallest. And then the next three. So whether you're making the two and a quarter or the three, three and a half inch one, you'll leave petal two out and then we're going to roll the centers of petal two. And now we're going to start with the three smallest. So you're folding it up. Add a dab of hot glue and we're going to glue it into the center of the other smallest ones. Fold it up and around. And I just hold it by the ends. Add a dab of hot glue and again we're going to glue it into our last one. We fold it up and then what I like to do is pinch or press in towards the center and just go around. So now it definitely flattened it out. Now we're going to take this one and now we're going to start adding them to our next smallest layer of petal two. Add some hot glue. Glue her in the center. Fold up the petals. Remember, we don't have much room. Add some hot glue. Glue it into our last petal. Make sure you get your glue strings off. Hold it up. And now we're going to just glue it into the center of the flower. I'm trying to look for a petal and kind of place it in between. She should fit right in there. So she just gradually comes in with the height. So we'll set her to the side. Now we're going to take our sepal. And we're going to take a dowel rod. And we're going to roll the petal. So we're placing it down in the middle of the petal. Thumb on top, index finger underneath, pinching it up and rolling. And then you take your metal ball stylus and roll the center.
and add some glue right in the center so your leaves are curved up. Flip your petal flower over, place it right down in the center. And then if you're using a leaf, you're gonna take your embossing stylus, draw a line straight down the center, one down the right side of each of those petals. Now towards each of the lines, we're gonna do the V shape. So I'm just gonna come down one side. So we're adding the veining. So here's my other line. I'm going to start at the top, do a V towards the center, and come down the other side, and we're going to do that on each of the petals. Draw a line. So there is a diagram in your instruction document. So if you flip it over, you can see the veining. So it adds a little bit of realism to your petal. I like to go over it with a larger metal ball stylus just kind of seal it in and I kind of just color it and the meaning is still there and you could curl it if you choose to do so so again as whether you're making the three and a half They're made exactly the same. Thank you for watching.